So what's up guys, it's Technical Haman Suri and in this video I'm going to show you the weather forecasting system that I have created uh, using machine learning. So basically for this, I have taken the data set that is the Seattle weather.csv. This data set is, uh, that, this data set that I have taken is from Kagger. I wanted the, the model to be as much as basic as possible and I wanted the data set to be as much as uh, basic for the viewers to understand. So that is the reason uh, this is the data set that I have taken. I would have taken another data set, but it was uh, very much complex for a person who is having only the basic knowledge of machine learning. So I'm going to take you to the model that I have created on uh, the Google Collab uh, using this data set. So basically for uh, using, uh, for creating a model, you have, you have to import these libraries for the machine learning model that you will be creating. I've used the random forest classifier and basically in order to divide the data set into the training set and the testing set, we also have to uh, split the data set. So that is the reason we will be requiring uh, the this, this library. And in order to uh, predict the accuracy score also, we will be requiring a scale learn dot matrices and we have to import accuracy score. So basically first we have to load the data set. We have loaded the data set that was the Seattle weather.csv. Uh, let me just uh, again uh, load it here so that it will be easy to understand. So that is the hotel weather.csv. This one I'm uploading it here. So now, uh, the important part for any machine learning model is what are the features that you are taking and which uh, variable you are targeting. So the features that I'm uh, going to take are the precipitation, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, and wind. Basically, it is already in the data set. So only the four columns. And the target value that I'm going to take is the weather because uh, at the end of the day, we are going to predict the weather based on the uh, these four values. So these four values will be playing a major role in predicting the weather. Now, we have to split the data set into the training set and the testing sets. So this particular line of code is doing this uh, thing only, this one. Now, I'm going to train my model and I'm using the random for forest classifier. I've given uh, these values x train and y train. And then here, my model evaluation part is going on. And based on the evaluation, it is going to predict the accuracy of my model. So it has already predicted. Now, here, the model evaluation has been done at this particular part. Accuracy has been predicted. Now, in order to predict the weather i would have to provide these four values in the input format so basically when i run this code it is going to predict something and let's see what it's predicting it is predicting the rain based on these four uh, set of values that i have given in the input it is predicting the weather as rain when i change the values like when i uh, let it let the precipitation be 4.3 when i uh, write the maximum temperature as 13 and uh, Minimum temperature is minus 10 and wind speed let it be minus 3.2. Now let's see what it's going to predict. Again, it's predicting rain. Okay, so let me change the value again. Let the maximum temperature be minus 13. Uh, not minus 13, let it be 3. And uh, let the precipitation be minus 4.3. And now let's see what it's going to predict. So you can see it is giving uh, the weather as sun. Sun means uh, it will be sunlight for that particular uh, value that I have given. Now let me again change the value and let it be in minus, minus three. And uh, this one, let's see what it's going to do. Again, it's predicting the sun. Okay, let me change the value here. Let it be minus 4.2 and uh, let this one be Minus 10, let it be minus 30. Uh, let me just see what it's doing. Okay, let it be 20 and let it be minimum temperature. Thirty. For this, minus ten and 
Okay, let me just go to the original values that was created in the model and let me just run it again. So you can see now it is predicting snow. Based on the four sets of values that I have uh, used, uh, it's going to predict the weather. So I don't know, I'm not a uh, weather forecaster, first of all, uh, based on these four values that I've given in the weather forecasting system is predicting the values. So basically, if you change the values, it's going to predict the, the weather, whether it's drizzle, rain, whether it's sun, whether it's snow. So these are the values. And out of these four values only, it's going to predict the weather. So this is how you can design uh, the weather forecasting system. I know it's a very, very basic one. This is the very basic part of the model that we have created uh, for the weather forecasting system. There are various uh, things uh, that uh, really play a major role in predicting the weather. But yeah, based on at the basic level, this is how you can create a basic weather forecasting system using machine learning. So thanks for watching this video. Also to subscribe to my channel for more technical videos of this kind. Thank you and have a nice day.